as always, if you haven't done so, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. We're going to go ahead and draw a picture of the ships. The question states that ship A is initially 150 kilometers west of ship B, and that's what we've shown here. But the ships are moving. Ship A is moving to the east at 35 kilometers per hour, and ship B is moving north at 25 kilometers per hour. We need to recall that the distance that an object travels equals its speed times its time. Now, we go back and we see that at noon, the ships were in the position shown in the diagram, but then later we're being asked about 4 o'clock p.m. Of course, that's a time interval of 4 hours. Since we know the speed of ship A, we can figure out the distance that it travels in those 4 hours, which would be 35 times 4, or 140 kilometers. So in a moment, we're going to reposition ship A so that it has traveled to the east 140 kilometers. That's going to put it approximately right here. Of course, ship B, because it's moving, also has traveled a certain distance, which we can calculate. And that turns out to be 100 kilometers. So we also need to redraw the position of ship B. It's going to go northward 100 kilometers. So it's going to end up somewhere up here. We'll clean up the workspace and adjust the drawing. So here we have ship A, which again has traveled 140 kilometers to the east. And then ship B is 100 kilometers to the north right here. Of course, we can find the distance from ship A to where ship B originally was located by noting that the distance from here to here is 150 kilometers, and the 140 kilometers marked would obviously show that that distance right here is 10 kilometers, so we can label that. We can now take a second look at the question which asks how fast is the distance between the ships changing? The distance between the ships. Well, we can include a line connecting the two positions of the ships. And of course, that line would represent the distance between them. We'll notice that the shape that we've carved out here is a right triangle. We could call the distance from B to A, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, C. The 10 kilometers can represent A and the 100 kilometers can represent B. Now, of course, because it's a right triangle, we know that the Pythagorean theorem would apply. So let's write that down. Now, because the question is asking how fast, we know that the question is really asking us for a rate. So that would be the clue that this is a related rates problem. And of course, to proceed, we would have to take the derivative of our equation with respect to time. So for the a squared term, we would pull down the exponent to make it 2a, subtract 1 from the exponent so it becomes a to the first, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of a with respect to time. That's an important step in any related rates problem, is to make sure you multiply by the derivative of the variable with respect to time. So we'll do the same thing for b and c. Notice that 2 appears in each term of the equation, so we can divide each term by 2 and cancel it. Now to answer this question, we go back and read it for a third time. It says, how fast is the distance between the ships? Remember, the distance between the ships was marked as C. How fast is that distance changing? Well, because it's saying how fast and it's asking about C, the question is really asking us for dc dt. That would represent how fast the distance between the ships is changing. So we can isolate dc dt by dividing both sides of the equation by C. Now we're almost ready to plug all the known values into the equation. What we don't yet know is C. But that's, again, easy. We can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for c. So let's do that real quick. We have the a squared plus the b squared equaling the c squared. And when you solve this for c, you should get 10 times the square root of 101 equaling c. a and b are marked on the figure. Notice that for da dt, that would represent the speed of ship a as it travels to the east. And that speed was given to us in the question as being 35 kilometers per hour. But you'll have to notice that this side of the triangle, which we marked A, you'll have to notice that it's shrinking as ship A travels to the east. So because it's shrinking that distance, we're going to have to make sure that we call that 35 kilometers per hour negative. So when we go to plug in for DADT, we can't forget to put in negative 35. Now, the distance that B is traveling along is actually growing. It's increasing as ship B travels upward to the north. So that, that rate will be a positive rate. The question stated that ship B is sailing at 25 kilometers per hour. So when we plug in for dBdt, we can use a positive 25 kilometers per hour. So let's plug all the known values in now. And when you clean this up, you should obtain 215 over the square root of 101 for dCdt. dCdt, if we look at it carefully, we have C in the numerator which is a measurement of distance, so that would be kilometers. T is a time measurement, which in this problem was given in terms of hours, so we would have kilometers per hour as our unit, and the final answer for dc dt. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. And you can also send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.